We're at Sheboygan North High School where tonight the Golden Raiders will take off, take on conference foe, the Pulaski Red Raiders. Hello everybody, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, both teams come in 0-1, but uh, after that the uh, similarities end. Yeah, one of the things that's unfortunately for both teams in Sheboygan, one thing that at they both don't have is size, and I, you know, we looked at the some of the size, and you mentioned there was a couple 300 pounders and a 277 on Pulaski, and Sheboygan North has one kid that's two 250 pounds, so they're giving up 50, 60 pounds a kid. I thought we were the Bratwurst capital of the world for crying out loud. We got to eat some food here. We got to get some bigger kids, and uh, you know, size is going to be the difference. So obviously, you're going to then have to rely on some speed, and uh, you know, we got a lot of new skilled players this year, still trying to develop and. Taking on Bayport a week ago probably wasn't the easiest thing for him. No, it wasn't for sure. Uh, there's an axiom in football where they say offense can serve as a good defender because you're keeping the ball away from the other team. Last week at South, they were not able to generate any offense. Last week over here at North, they weren't able to generate any offense either. Hence, they gave up, oh, I think it was 104 points between the two schools. The offense has got to get going. Yeah, well, last week, Bayport scored two, at their first two scores, they didn't even score an offense. One was on a punt return, and then it was an interception for, so that doesn't help the offense either. So just getting things started and things like that, you got to, you know, I was thinking about, you know, what, what are we going to change this week? Well, you got to forget about last week. That's over. And, uh, you know, Bayport's probably one of the top four or five best teams in the state. So let's regroup. We're at home and uh, see what we can do against the Pulaski team that, you know, it's really getting better through the years. A few years ago, this team won one game, and, you know, now they're a team that can maybe contend for a playoff spot or even upper echelon of the conference. When I was prepping for the game tonight, I noticed they lost a lot of guys, all conference players from last year. They lost the off co-offensive player of the year, a, Kevin by, a kid by the name of Kevin Reichel. And... Uh, Yet they still had three or four juniors that were all conference players coming back, so they're pretty loaded. Even though they lost a tough game last week, 21 to 20 to uh, Green Bay Southwest. Yeah, this is a team, like I said, that a few years ago was on the bottom. And I mean, I remember just two years ago we were interviewing kids that North beat Pulaski, and they've had some success in. But that's a program here, Pulaski, that's gotten better every every week and every year, and they're building up. Kind of what the Sheboygan schools are trying to get to. You know, you, it doesn't all happen in a, in, a, in a day. You gotta keep working in the off season and in the weight room and things like that. Get those bigger kids out, get those athletes out, and build to where Pulaski is today. To your point, uh, North does have some uh, young, skilled players, Mitch Mahler being the main guy, their quarterback. Uh, he could be a good one if he can get a little protection. Yeah, second year for him, big kid, so we'll see how it works for him. And again, we got to see how his skill players work. I know we looked at the stats on, online. I don't know if that's, that can't be right. I mean, I think it showed one pass or something, but, you know, he is a good athlete. He's gone to a lot of camps over the summer and in the off season to get better, but he is just a sophomore. But I'm looking to see how Mitchell develops, not just this season, but in the next two as well. Uh, Love Beringer was the uh, main running back last week anyway. He had 14 carries for only 16 yards. You know, if they can bust open a couple of yards, uh, holes, they might be able to gain some yards. We're going to step out right now for the national anthem. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups for tonight's game and the kickoff.
sports programming makes Legend Lewis a great place to watch your team. Meet the team location, Sheboygan, Sheboygan Falls, and Manitowoc. Thank you, Legend Larrys, for sponsoring Sheboygan North High Football. The House is proud to be the official health care provider for Sheboygan North Golden Raiders. Tonight's coverage provided by licensed athletic trainer Chris Lenz and Dr. Joseph Corbin, orthopedic surgeon at Premier Sports Medicine. The pain from sports injury hasn't gone away. It's time to turn to Premier Sports Medicine for comprehensive care for sports related injuries. We're back at North High School getting ready to uh, execute the uh, kickoff. Alec Janette is uh, kicking off for the Red Raiders. And we're off. Short kick. Taken at about the 15 yard line and advanced up to the uh, 25. On the carry for uh, North was uh, Lee Koo and uh, Mitch Mahler. We talked a little bit about him in the opening. Number two is that quarterback. Brings the troops out. In the backfield with him is uh, Love Beringer, number 28. You see the offensive line getting set. Inside handoff, and uh, Behringer picks up maybe a yard or two. Not much there. <laughs> Marty, you just stole my line. Not much there. Pick up a two. Generous two, Marty. Second and eight, ball on the 27. Man in motion, they give it to Behringer and he's going nowhere. He's going to lose yardage on that play. Once again, there's lots of white shirts in the box, Marty, just like a week ago. It's going to be third down. And actually, uh, about nine. If you watch the, when you get the upshot, watch the line, see if they're pushing anybody back. And uh, there fumble. you can see there was a fumble anyway. Mahler falls on it, it'll be fourth down. Uh, Raiders really get nothing on that uh, possession. But uh, if you see the blue guys pushing the white guys back, that's a good thing. But it uh, didn't happen last time, that time. I think that's Mahler back punting, isn't it? Yep. Pretty good snap. Mahler's kick is away. It's a good one. Over the head of the return man and bouncing inside the 20 and downed at the 15 yard line. Outstanding punt by Mitch Mahler. 57 yards, Mar <laughs> Marty. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Going to be first and 10 for uh, the Red Raiders at the uh, North Eye 15 yard line. We didn't talk much about the uh, offense for uh, 
Pulaski, but they did have two 100-yard rushers yep. last year. And uh, on that first carry, Dustin Groff on the carry for uh, Pulaski. Not much there. Good defense there by the Raiders. Picks up about three. Groff's your quarterback, senior. They only threw it about six or seven times. That one was just right, right up, up the, the middle. middle. Not much there. Pretty simple. <clears throat> LeCompte on the uh, Oh, I'm carry. sorry. Looked like he just kept it. I'm sorry. Picks up maybe a yard. Not much. It's going to be third down and about six. Little inside reverse. Nobody and there. Wide open. Fooled the cameraman and fooled the North defense and uh, knocked out of bounds. Way out was Alec Johnette. That was a nice Get, play. <clears throat> gets it into uh, North territory. Watch this. Yep. All the flow one way. <laughs> Fullback and one tackle leading this way. Fooled us all. It's going to be first and 10. At the uh, 46. Look at that power to the right, Marty. 35 yard gain. What that was, Chris, was an inside reverse and uh, certainly fooled uh, the North defense. Yep. It's going to be second down and 10. That was Graf again. Second and 10, pitch back, Direct. number 25, yeah. bouncing around, and he's pushing blockers and tacklers out of the way and picks up a good gain. Dylan Hendricks on the carry. Yeah, that was a direct snap there, Marty. <clears throat> there you see it, pretty good blocking up front. Missed tackle. Well, you know his draft, the quarterback doesn't want to block. <laughs> <laughs> Smart move by him. But he gets in the way. Ball is on the 35. That's an 11 yard pickup. Direct snap again. That one to Hendricks. Pounding off left tackle and gets it inside the 25. That'll be another first down. And there you can just see the size and the push of the Red Raiders. Just kicking out those uh, blue shirts, as Marty mentioned before. Ball on the 22, pick up a 13 yards on that carry. So Hendricks, two carries, 23 yards. Pulaski marching. Hendricks. Hendricks again, he breaks off right tackle, and he's got the opening, and he's in the end zone. 20, it looks like a 24-yard run. <laughs> Oh, we, that was way too easy, Chris. Here you'll, uh, well, I just thought that was the end of our replay there, and unfortunately, that push that you mentioned, really. The white shirts were pushing the blue shirts off the line. Yep. Good snap and set, and the line drive kick is through with uh, 736, pardon me, 716 left in the first quarter. Pulaski on top, 7 to nothing. Here you'll see the replay. Nice kick out block there by number 53, Dustin Van Lannen. And uh, after that, Hendricks went right down the chute for the score. There you'll see it again from of earlier play. Hendricks was a lot to do with that drive. And oh boy. Seven plays for 85 yards. 
Wow. Way too took, easy. Yeah, I got it for... Uh, and I've got four of those plays being uh, 10 or more, including the 137 yarder. Yeah, I was going to say 317 on the clock. and They look good on the first two plays, but then that misdirection opened it up. That actually is what got them rolling, too. Yep. Kind of like last week at South. South stopped them the first drive, and after that, it was all down the hill. Oh, picked the ball up. On the run that time was Dylan Cauldron. North going to get it, but not in very favorable position. Not like a punch, you got to pick it up and run with it. It's going to be first and 10 north, ball spotted on the 19 yard line. Let's see if something gets going here. Mahler ducks underneath his center. Cameron Bell, little handoff inside. And good run that time by uh, Love Behringer. Like that. That was nice, positive yards. Pick He's up just a four. A, go ahead. I was going to say he was just a sophomore. Quarterback's a sophomore. That was a nice play. One right receiver split off to the right. There you see him at the bottom of your screen. Another handoff. Looked like Mahler was thinking about maybe pulling it out, but he saw the defense right there, and he would have got nailed. Boy, it sure worked well going to the right. I wouldn't have switched that. I would have stayed going that way. It's going to be third down. Give him a no gain on that play. Third down and six. Love Behringer, the lone setback. Handoff, shake handoff, and then uh, Mahler gets hit all the way back to the near the 20 yard line. But not much going on there. It's going to be fourth down and about nine. Make it eight. Make it seven. Give him a loss of a yard. Oh, well, he got off a good punt the first time. Let's see what he does on this one. And there's a hanky on the field. There you see it at the bottom of your screen coming in. It's going to be on north. Probably illegal procedure. Well, uh, that illegal um, substitution. Rob Huffman had his hands up. <laughs> And when that happens, it's probably on you. what I do? I don't think they had the right number of guys on the line, Marty. Nor spreading it out on this punt. And a line drive kick is picked off at the 40. Oh, what a block there. A good, strong return. Is he going to take it to the house? Fumble. Fumble. But there's no blue shirts. Only one blue shirt there, and uh, they're going to call a clip on that block, Marty. Watch Brandon this Weyer. block. Yep. Well, that was pretty close. We'll Looked like he block. turned. Wolf Graham turned, and then he got hit. You see it taken right now at the 40. Now watch as he turns, then he got hit. That's not a clip. No, I don't think so either, but we'll take it. There's two flags, actually, Marty. One at the 25 and one at the Belaski 45. Oh, that's a clean hit. Yeah, it looked like a pretty good block to me, too. After we see it on replay. What are they going to call? Yeah. They haven't made a signal yet that we saw. 
had a chance to uh, chat very briefly with um, Matthew Bayona. He's not playing tonight. He's got uh, concussion issues, and uh, that's uh, pretty dangerous. And that's their biggest guy, Marty. <laughs> yeah, he's a big one. Six feet, 250 pounds. That was a good hit. What did they call? Personal, personal foul. foul. Why? On Pulaski. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, it's going to be first and ten. I understand safety of the game, Marty. That's not my point. That's just a good clean hit. Well, the official doesn't agree with you. Fake handoff to uh, Hendricks. And I believe that was Groff on the carry. It'll be second down. He picks up about three yards. All right. Their Hendricks keeper up the middle and not good tackling. He's just leaning forward and running yep. and doing a great job of it. That's just a direct snap right to him, Marty. It's just run up the middle. He's 205 pounds and uh, he's showing it. Yep. Norl is spotted on the uh, 42. He mentioned North Pick up doesn't, eight. doesn't have a lot of big guys. Another Groff, direct snap. Right through the middle, powering forward. Does a good job of running with the ball north and south on that play. Another first down run. Ball is spotted on the uh, north 43. That's a 15 yard run, Chris. Tight formation, inside reverse. And making his first carry and going to the end zone Clipping. is a Jesse Brockman. Two flags on the field, one at the 39, the other at the 33. Wagner got clipped. <laughs> See if we can find the clip on this play. Right there. There, yep. Big number 76. But again, uh, the misdirection play uh, it's hurting North. Caught a break there on the bad block. Yep, not staying home. That uh, Brockman looked pretty quick. Okay, it's going to be first and, well, we'll make it first and 15. North blitzing, not getting much penetration, doing a great job of running and gaining yardage was uh, Brock Grisolny. Graciani. Good block again. Lecompte, number 32. Blocked there on Seth Stark, I believe it was. Groff, powering his way forward, gets close to the first down. They run hard, Chris, and lean forward. Watch this. Another leaning, kick out. Leaning Jeez. and pushing. And their offensive line just dominating the Raiders. Red, uh, Golden Raiders. There's that reverse again. Yeah. Jesse Brockman gets pushed back. Nice play out there by Sheboygan Norse uh, to Chang Ku. Very nice. That's how you tackle. Pick up a four. Ball spotted on the 29 yard line. Pulaski's had it going this quarter, this uh, this ball game so far on the run. 
Nobody there. And off, off tackle left and running for a big first down was uh, Lucas Graciani. 5'8", 160, he looks a lot bigger than that. 23, I don't have a 23 yeah, I know. Pulaski. I know, <clears throat> I'm just going with what I what, hear Mr. Yeah. Horsch saying. Yeah, so. First 40. and goal from the seven, Graciani again, leaning inside, gets knocked down at about the four. Yeah, he's six foot 185, that makes a little more sense. They have him down as 41, he's 23. And with uh, just two minutes left in the quarter, we're going to get a break for a equipment injury or equipment injury. <laughs> equipment it <could> mistake. <laughs> it could be an equipment injury. I need a new helmet. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry doesn't make it right. <laughs> All right, Groff number 12, Hendricks number 25. Groff takes it, powers his way into the end zone. Another touchdown for the Red Raiders. Too easy. You know, last week I've got, uh, according to the stats online, they only threw like six or seven passes all game. Yep. Pretty Lots of carries. On it. Good snap and kick, and it's good by uh, Jeanette. And with uh, 139 left in the first quarter, Pulaski 14, North nothing. Jeanette lining up to uh, kick it off. Cauldron is back deep. Kick is very short this time. Oh Cauldron boy. racing over and uh, does get it at about the 23 yard line. Well, those are scary. Almost. Pulaski gets that one. Third time with the football for North. Not much to show on offense, Chris. Nope. Ball is spotted on the 21. Love bearing her uh, the lone set back in the north backfield. Cam Bell shouting things out to center for the line. Oh, uh, flag flies in. Mauer was trying to lean forward to pick up some yards. Let's see what that penalty is all about. They're marching against Pulaski. I'd say face mask. It is. Five yards. All right. So first down for North. 
Ball spotted on the 26. Pitch out. Cutting it back but not getting much was uh, Lee Koo Lee. We're down to a minute 15. Should be second down. This one to be second and six. Ball spotted on the 25 yard line. Inside handoff. Baringer, love Baringer on the carry, didn't get much. Basically a no gain on that particular carry. It's going to be third down and six. And they give him a yard, so we will too. Uh, That's the timeout no. north with seven seconds left in the quarter. Oh, I thought that was going to be the end of the yeah. quarter. They are going with the wind, Chris, um, although they haven't really tried to throw yet. They haven't. They haven't. Uh, you know, the I only reason I can think of to stop the clock is to take this last play and chuck it down the field. Well, I don't understand why they haven't tried to throw anyways. They're not <laughs> gaining anything on the ground. Yeah, right. You might as well throw it up there and see what happens. We are going to be taking a week off for uh, Labor Day. We will not have a game for you next week, but... Worth the wait, September 8th, Sheboygan North at South in the uh, annual North-South game. So you can look forward to that, and uh, we look forward to uh, bringing that game to you. Here we go, the dance team. Smile, girls. Look so serious. All right, third down, about five. North looking for the uh, what would be their longest offensive play of the night. Mahler, he's got his wide receiver open, but uh, not able to make the catch was uh, Dylan Cauldron. A little bit over his head. Yeah, get but, behind uh, him a little bit. I didn't. Uh, I don't mind that play. Nice short little drop. He was wide open out there, too. Uh, that only took four seconds. There's still three seconds left in the quarter. Uh, we got, uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be offside on north. I think they got started too soon. Be a five-yarder. Penalty on north. Remains fourth down. Another line drive kick. Picked up nicely at about the 36 and uh, returned out to the 50 by uh, Preston Olp. And uh, that is the end of the first quarter with Pulaski on top, 14 to nothing. There you get a replay of it.
Getting ready to start second quarter action. Groff on the carry with the direct snap. Takes it from the 50 up to the 46. Pick up a four yards for Graff. It's going to be second down and six. That's what they've run all night, Marty. Yep. Direct snap and run the ball. Direct they got snap. got their linemen tight and those uh, two backs right behind the guards are blockers there's a reverse Hendricks good tackle there nice stop made by uh, Sheboygan Norris Hayden Lohr Gonna be third down, pickup of about five yards, third and one. Pitch out, bumping into his blockers, but making a nice run was uh, Andrew Ignarski. Is that his first carry, Marty? First or, carry. Yeah, I don't remember him uh, carrying it. His name is in my notes. He had one catch for uh, 56 yards. That was the only completion last week against uh, Green Bay Southwest. Yeah. A nine yard run by Ignarski. Fumble way back there oh. and he gets nailed. Yeah. <laughs> Ignarski, not happy about that one. Big loss. It's going to be second oh, and a bunch. Just missed it. He didn't see it all the way in. Good closing speed. That's a 13-yard loss. Hey. Second down and 23. Groff. Standing tall in the pocket, gets flushed out. He's got room to roam. Good move to the outside, but a good tackle made on the edge by Sheboygan Norris, Nathan Ralsey. Flag down, deep down the field. Talking to the... Uh, there you see the referee talking to North. That's yeah. a good thing. Lucas Bunting, the captain on defense, and uh, they're going to march him back. Might as well. Too much traffic up here. I don't know if he made a signal or not. There we go. Holding. Remain second down. That's a spot foul. That's why it's uh, where it see, is. 10, 15, 20, 22 yards. We'll make it 23. Pitch oh, nice out. play. Nobody there. Gracely. Ooh, he tries to run right through the north tackler, but hanging in there and making a good stop was uh, Rob Huffman. Watch this. Handed it to the up man who pitched it back to the good trail back. out there. But Huffman stuck his nose in there and made a good stop. Third down and five. That was an 18 yard pickup. Oh, and North makes a good stop. Gang tackling, you gotta like it. Yeah, another bad snap by uh, Pulaski. And uh, we're gonna have a timeout. Yeah, mishandled snap, and uh, that led to uh, a slow forward progress there by uh, 
No gain Ramsey, on that I play. Think, ran that ball. Yep, he ran the last two. Well, Pulaski's going to go here. They are averaging about six yards a carry, seven, eight yards a carry as long as uh, they don't have a bad snap. Right, yeah, they're in pretty good shape otherwise. That was a good shot of the north huddle. See if their defense can step up for one big stop. Beautiful night for football. Oh. Temperatures in the mid-60s, mid to low 60s. Of course, Chris wimped out and wore his long pants. Yep. Mr. Martin's a man. He wore his shorts. The, uh... <laughs> How'd you get here, by the way? Without no doors. No doors, no <laughs> windows, no top on your vehicle? <laughs> yep. Pitch out Hendricks. Yep battling and he leans forward and I think he got the first down. Stop. We got to stop. He I, was down before he got to the first down marker. I like Good stop by the Raiders. Well, the play was good, give it to Hendricks, but he's been doing most of his work up the middle. He tried to get outside, and I didn't quite catch the number of the North player who took the outside away, flushed him back into the middle, and the rest of the Ra uh, Golden Raiders swallowed up Hendricks. A little bit of pursuit, never hurt. Mahler on the uh, handoff to Love Beringer, and he picks up a good chunk of yardage. Longest gain of the night for that young man. It's going to be second and short for the Raiders. Good fake by Mahler and Love Beringer running hard before he's taken down hard. Picks up nine. Well, it seems to me that there's some movement by the uh, offensive line on the right side. I keep going that way. <laughs> Or Pitch go left. Oh, he's going to get stomped. It's twice hit now. Hard I don't, was I don't Lukey like. Lee. Yeah, I just don't. Go with what's going for you. Right is working good. Left is not. And it's a not loss here. Of the yard. All right, third down and two, short two. Let's see if Mahler keeps it. Give it to Beringer, and he powers forward over the 35. First down north. Well, it took us six quarters, Marty, but we have a first down for our Sheboygan team. And that was well earned. Ball spotted on the 36. North with a tight line. Beringer able to slip through a hole. Took the late handoff, picked up some yardage, maybe three yards. Yep, going right, going right. Seems to be a little push on that side. Second down and seven. A wide receiver this time out to the right. Beringer again with the Beringer Love again with the late handoff. Leans over the 40. Short gain, maybe one or two. It's going to make it a third and about five. Just a sophomore carrying the ball there. He goes six feet, 195. He's a big kid. Mitchell, the wide receiver, out to the uh, right side. Rest of the line is pretty tight. Pulaski jumps off side. That'll give North five yards. That could be a first down on a penalty. Referee talking to his... Uh, partner 
I think they got number 24 on the offside from Pulaski. Oh, no. Huh. Well, he called two penalties, one on North, one on Pulaski. The third official <laughs> marched it off against Pulaski. So what happens is it's a penalty on Pulaski, apparently, and it's first and 10 for North. Ball on the 46-yard line. Sweet. Keep Lead going. handoff to Love Beringer, but he was held on to and pulled down. Good tackle made that time by Michael Berna from just, Pulaski. I also suggest they mix up the pass a little bit, Marty. Pulaski's just getting in there. They, they've thrown one pass the whole game. Now I know that they're going against the wind, but there's no wind right now. He's they got Coldren get... and Lee at the wingback positions, and they're always one of them's always going in motion. And uh, there you go, Coldren fumble on the handoff, and uh, Mitchell trying to fight and gets back to the line of scrimmage. I just think Marty, you got to get some of those backers out of that box and get some of those defensive backs out of there. I is agree there? with you. You got to spread it out a little you, bit. Yep. That's why I wasn't opposed to that uh, end run that didn't gain anything a couple of plays back just to uh, try and spread the defense right. out. Now Kuvu you're. Kuvu getting in position. He's the wide receiver now out to the right. Now you're forced to throw the ball, third and 10. Mahler gets sacked. Back inside the 35. And you knew it was going to happen, so they might as well send the house, which they <coughs> did. It's going to be fourth and, and a missed bunch. block. Koo missed a block there. You can't just chip him, son. You got to hit him and get in the way. That's your, your boy back there, your teammate, your brother. You got to help him out. Uh, ball is at the 39-yard line. It's going to be uh, fourth down. North will be punting. Disappointing, Marty. Yeah, they had a little bit going there. They ran the ball a little bit. Just couldn't sustain it. Uh, not a very good punt that time. Into the but wind. But he does get a little bit of a bounce. And it's going to be down at about the 30-yard line. But a good long possession, Chris. I've got them running one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plays, and then the punt. Took off uh, five minutes and three seconds, Marty. There was a flag on the play, and they are talking to Pulaski. Let's see what they want to do. It's been a flag on every punt just about by North. Illegal shift on north. They're going to decline that with a good field position. It's a smart move by the Red Raiders. Ball is spotted on the 39. Make that the 29-yard 20, line. Right up the middle. And uh, getting pushed back eventually was Dylan Hendricks. But uh, he picked up pretty good yards. Pick up a nine. Quick play. Oh, they got that Brockman on yep. the outside. And he gets all the way into North Territory at about the 45. I don't remember him no, <coughs> carrying the ball either much. Watch this, the same reverse, Marty. He actually had the real long touchdown run, but it was okay. called back. They're right up on the line again, Marty. And they're off. Right through. Getting big yardage was the ball carrier, Hendricks. And they're in the hurry up. They're on the line right away. And why not? First and 10, ball spotted on the 38. North, North calls a timeout. Smart timeout by them. 
Pulaski really getting their sea legs on this drive. Yeah, they're not messing around. You know, and I know they got stopped on that last possession going outside, but I would just pound the middle. North doesn't seem to have much of an answer, especially with Hendricks. And then they throw in that that little counter play. Yeah. She's what are you gonna do, right? They've had a whole stable of running backs, Chris. I think they've had at least four, no, at least six yeah. different people carrying the ball this first half. And that's somewhat traditional for North, or excuse me, Pulaski. They seem to run a lot of guys um, over the last few years. Coach Marsh has done that. Here we go. Second down and one. Gracie, Gracerly on the run, number 23. Yep, they're on the line. First and 10, ball spotted on the 28. North tries to substitute, got him off, but another good run. Gracerly. Pick up an eight on that play. And they're on the line. Second down. Fake There's handoff. They give it to Brockman on a reverse. Whoop. And he goes right through the middle, and he's in for a touchdown. He's fast. Yep. <coughs> that was about a 20-yard run. The hurry-up uh, offense basically running three plays. Either we're going to snap it to 12 or 25, or we're going to rerun that reverse. And uh, that's all you need in your playbook with that success. Yeah, we've talked about, Chris, with when North had the ball to try and spread the defense out a little bit. Doesn't seem to matter too much for Pulaski. Well, they're just... Bigger, Marty, when you're, you got to either use, if you're not big, you got to use your speed and uh, quickness. Kind of counter the bigger guys. Uh, Jesse Brockman uh, had a, about a 26 or 27 yard touchdown run in the first quarter. Was called back because of a clipping. And uh, great camera work on that, by the way. We saw the clip clearly, big number 76. But uh, he stuck with it and gets his touchdown here in the second quarter. Well, that took one minute and 15 seconds. Yeah, that wasn't long, was it? And they started, what, on the 34, 35? How far did you say that was? Uh, I had him at the 29. 29. So, so 71 yards. In a minute 15. Without throwing the ball. Cauldron doing a good job of getting over to get the ball that time. And a little jitterbug action gets it out to the 30. First and 10 North. Well, North has one hey. timeout and 2.30. Here's the replay. Here's the jitterbug. Boop, boop. <laughs> Boom. Once again, I watch three or four blue shirts never touch a white shirt. Hey, gotta keep those blue uniforms clean. Just kidding. DeMarja Miller, number 17, is the wide out to the left side this time. Beringer, Love, Love Beringer is the uh, lone setback. And he takes it right up the middle. Gets it up to about the 33. Give him a gain of two. Two ten and counting. Mahler under center. 
pitch out to Lee. Tries to cut it back and is pushed back at about the 36 or 37. Little better, good quickness there by Lee. Yeah, I agree with you there. 5'2", 150 is a senior. Time out by the Red Raiders. 2.01 left until halftime. It's a dance team family night, parents night for the North High Varsity dance team. They were out on the track a little earlier. We saw Greg Zablocki showing you that uh, shot. Richard Bartson giving you that shot from camera one. Robert Ingram in the truck, our director tonight and leader. Sergi Molitor running graphics. Color today is uh, Chris Wright and play-by-play -play, Mike Martin. Couldn't remember my own name. It's going to be third down and about four. Timeout by Pulaski there. They have one left. Good timeout there by the uh, Pulaski staff. Pitch out to uh, Cauldron. Leaning forward, but good pursuit by the Red Raiders, and uh, he's held to no gain. North trying to go wide, just uh, couldn't get the blocking. And great pursuit, and we got a man down. It looks like uh, Dylan Cauldron. Uh, good job, Dylan. Way to get up. And he's trying to <laughs> tell Chris Lenz on his birthday, get away from me. Trainer Chris Lenz celebrating a birthday today. Along with the athletic director here, Mr. Stengel. 151 left until halftime. And uh, there you see Dylan and Chris Lenz in the uh, white jacket. Not sure who the other two gentlemen are. Checking in the North Hyde uh, huddle was Elijah Wagner, number 15, coming in late. And uh, Mahler back into uh, punting position. He's had a lot of punts this half, Chris. Fifth. Another Lined good one. it up and booted a beauty into the wind. Great catch made by uh, Holy cow, get that guy down. Flag. Alla, Preston Allop on the uh, strong return. Flag at the 40 though, <laughs> Marty. And, uh, One thing that, uh, well, we missed the catch part. That's really what uh, got everything started. He made a wonderful catch on a long punt. <clears throat> Cam Bell telling him, move him back. Pulaski will have a minute 33. They quite scored in a, a minute 15 half. last time. Yeah, I was going to say quite a few penalties this uh, half. Especially on Pulaski. Yeah, right. Personal foul. Whoa. Be cheating like that. Be a good sport. Well, they do not Ball spotted have to pass. 25. They've only tried to pass once and they got sacked. They're running. Hand off uh, Hendricks, I believe that was. That'll stop the clock with a first down, and they're going to be in their hurry up, which they were before. So 10 ball spotted on the 36. 11 yard pickup. Second back through, and uh, pretty good stop that time. Hendricks again. Ball at the 45. North calling timeout. It was second and one. I don't understand. Never mind. <laughs> when they run their quick 
uh, offense like that, Chris, it does not allow for defensive substitutions. That's what I was going to mention. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do pretty good in the opening, you know. I just say a couple words and then let you go for five minutes. <laughs> you answer all my questions. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. What no, were you going to say? No, I was going to say nothing because I was I was going to mention that you can't substitute, but I'm I'm just up here. I'm not a coach, and uh, it's not my job to, to tell you them what they, coach. what they can Stop do. Stop yelling not. to the fans. <laughs> I can't Lying tell to the fans. <laughs> I can't tell them what they can and can't do. But I just find it difficult. Now they're putting them right back in. <laughs> I just, it's, with the way Plasky's going, it's difficult to substitute. You're right, Marty. That's what I was going to say. Groff, well, it looks like he wanted to pass, but then he's hit and dropped. Nice tackle made that time by uh, Tu Cheng Ku. Have you mentioned his name a couple <laughs> times, Marty? Yeah, we have. You're right. Loss of three. <coughs> Timeouts have just got to be, yeah, they are all used up by both sides. That last extra point, Chris, apparently was not good. I thought they signaled it good, but uh, the score is 20 to nothing. Pulaski. 102 left in the half. A little surprised Pulaski wasn't running the ball there. You know, they looked like you mentioned they wanted to pass, and he tried to tuck it under, and there was nowhere to go. The way they're picking up yardage. On the ground, especially. On the ground, they do not need to put it up in the air, which they haven't all night. Seth Starks checks in. Looks like he's an uh, outside linebacker type. Groff at quarterback takes a direct snap and they do a little Humble. dipsy doodle and uh, Hendricks gets the ball back but uh, loses about uh, five or six yards. The only thing stopping Pulaski is Pulaski. You got that right. They've had about four of those mishandled pitches and snaps. And they're going to do something they haven't had to do all night. Now, I, I don't agree with this either. If I were them, I would. Lee Koo Lee is the uh, lone return man back for uh, North. And I think it's Jeanette doing the punting. A good kick. All up, actually. And that ball takes a great roll for Pulaski. It's going all the way to the 10-yard line. Make it the 11, but you get the idea. It was a long punt. Two seconds left. How far? 54. All up on the punt. 52. Maybe it was Alp. So it was on ALP. 10. All right, let's see what the Raiders do. Well, not much there. Mauer on the carry. Didn't gain much, and that's the half. We're at halftime here at Sheboygan Norris Urban Field with Pulaski on top, 20 to nothing. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Well, Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you've got. Or C, show solidarity. Don't think of it. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same.
visit aarp.org slash caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who wants to care. I guess sometimes things just happen. Devastating things. Your whole world changes in an instant. That's what happened to me. The day my mother had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help, and slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. When I was six, my days were spent playing basketball. When I was six, my dream was to make it to the NBA. When I was six, my mom had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. 
Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. Look at me. Hey. Raymond, look at mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe it's a phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Being prepared is a part of who you are. But it's especially important in the case of a disaster. Be informed about possible emergencies in your area. Make a plan that covers where you'll go in an emergency. Build a kit with the things you need to survive. There's no one more capable of planning for your situation than you. Start your plan today. Go to ready.gov slash my plan. Morning, Gary. We are getschooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us. We go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to getschool.com. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. Taught him how to hit a baseball. How to hit a receiver. The strike zone. The net. You taught him how to hit the upper corner. You even taught him how to hit the open man. But how much time have you spent teaching him what not to hit? A redhead <gasps> staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. Hi. May I please have an application? Thank you. Skip the drama. Get your diploma. Okay. Take that first step towards a better future. Find free adult education classes at finishyourdiploma.org. I'm Jenny Garth, and as a mother of three, I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. But here in America, that is a real worry for one in five children. This is unacceptable and something Feeding America is working to solve. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States, including yours. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. You think getting dumped by text is harsh? Try getting dumped by a tennis ball. My ex-owner drove me out to the woods, yelled fetch, and by the time I bought the ball back, he was gone. Yeah, I was pissed. <laughs> But the folks at the shelter helped me let go of my anger. I learned coping skills, like taking it to the hole. Boom! Now I'm ready to fetch again. But how about I throw 
and you run and get it. Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. This is the moment I knew his future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. When you're out there, there's no telling what you'll find. I see it, I see it! Oh, look at you. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. <laughs> Find yours at discovertheforest.org. I want to eat. struggles with hunger in America. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Hey Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming! Bye boys, bye guys! Yeah! I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi babe, how was school today? Hi Dad, it was great. Okay, honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in, because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. You're doing great. Let's just, we're gonna try this again, okay? Okay. Wheels, pedals, handlebar, brakes. Sit up straight, keep your weight in the center, keep your eyes on the road, hands on the grips, button the seat. If we feel ourselves falling, what do we do? Just, just keep, keep pedaling. pedaling. Good girl. Now remember, it's all about balance and steering. Steer with your hands, steer with your body. Steer into the corners and you stay out of trouble. And the bell's your buddy, so go ahead and ding that. All right, you ready? Here we go. Pedal, honey, pedal. There you go, you're a bike rider. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier. And it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. All right. No. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Hey, I'm Tyler Perry. Do you know what hunger in America looks like? Well, it has many faces, and 16 million of those belong to children. Yet billions of pounds of food go to waste each year, and this is unacceptable. You can be a part of the solution. Join us in supporting the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks, which rescues our surplus foods and provides meals to many families in need. 
Visit feedingamerica.org today. Together we can solve hunger. Together we're feeding America. They're coming. Please, is everybody. Light check. One, two, one, two. Everything looks good on our end. And lights. Come alive with the forest. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Hey, look, it's those guys. Uh, Are you good to drive? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. You are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at grads. We're, uh, we're back at North High School where we're getting ready to start the second half. Pulaski's on top, 20 to nothing. Some first half stats. Let's go for North first. Uh, they have 22 total yards in 20 carries they attempted one pass that went for an incompletion but all in all their offense helped to keep Pulaski off the field and uh, their special team coverage although not great did prevent any special teams touchdown so 20 to nothing not a great score for now north but uh, was a lot worse last week Pulaski on the other hand had a field day there you see a good shot of the moon there by uh, Greg Zablocki. They had a field day rushing the ball. They did uh, 34 rushes for 268 yards. And uh, they had a bevy of runners that did really good. Lucas Gracie had seven carries for 68 yards, uh, gaining... 42 yards in two carries was Alec Jeanette. Uh, Dylan Hendricks, their, uh, their leading ground gainer from last week, had 80 yards on eight carries. He led everybody in uh, rushing in that first half. All right, here we go. Kickoff. Carries down inside the 15-yard line. All up. On the good return. Ulp is the way you pronounce that. Seth Stark with the tackle. And uh, see if Pulaski comes up with that uh, hurry up offense to start quarter number three. That really worked well the second half of the second quarter. Uh, the only thing that slowed Pulaski down is the uh, snaps and some of their penalties. And the official timeout also slows them down. <laughs> there we go. Now we're ready to go. Direct snap, fake handoff. Groff keeps it, but he's bottled up right at the line of scrimmage. Great play made in there. One of the uh, north tacklers was Thess Seth Stark. It's a no-gainer. Second and ten. Cool in there too. He's been in a lot of plays. Direct snap to uh, Hendricks. He's off tackle left and uh, gains a lot of yards. He's outside the 40. Knocked down at about the 43. Dylan Hendricks. Alex Vogel on the play. A.J. Vogel. It's a 15-yard pickup. Here they come. Another, here they come again. Groff. Oh, no, it's Hendricks again. 
breaks uh -oh. to the outside. He's going to go. Uh, one guy to beat, and he does get tackled. <clears throat> nice stop made out there. That one was made by uh, Rob Huffman, but another long gainer. You see him go off tackle. Ball is spotted on the uh, 21. <clears throat> Groff up the middle takes it uh, right at about the 10 yard line. And they're off, Marty. Yeah, she's gain of eight. Reverse again. Yeah, leaning forward and gaining good yardage was uh, Alec Jeanette. There you see the reverse that's worked. They're down to the three. And into the end zone, touchdown. That was made by Hendricks. Dylan Hendricks with the score from three yards out. And quick touchdown by Pulaski, Chris. Way too quick. Yeah, minute 31. Actually, time of possession at the end of the first half was in favor of North because they had that nice five-minute drive, but unfortunately, Pulaski scores quickly. That kick is up and good. With 10.29 remaining in the third quarter, Pulaski up 27 to nothing. North lining up, getting ready to take this uh, kickoff in the third quarter. It's Hendricks' second touchdown, huh, Marty? He had that first one. Yeah, and I get him for a 22-yard run back in the first quarter. The first score of the game, as a matter of fact. And now he picks up about a three-yard run for a score. Pulaski has looked good. You know, if they clean up those snaps like Chris mentioned a little earlier and uh, cut down on the penalties, uh, they were a playoff team last year. I think they won two games before losing out. Finished 7-5, and five, which may not sound real great, but uh, this is a tough conference. Huh. Yeah. Bayport and Preble and Notre Dame. Billy Wolfgram on this return. Well, if you remember, Cauldron got hurt earlier, and uh, so he was not in there. Ball is spotted on the 31-yard line. Mitchell Mahler continues at quarterback. Inside handoff to uh, Love Beringer. Well, there's basically no wind, just slightly out of the north. Second down and eight. North has uh, only attempted one pass all night. Fake the dive, pitch out. Trying to get some uh, running room and finding a little bit was uh, Lee Koo Lee. That was a good play and it should have been more, but again, a bad snap or pitch. Didn't catch it right away, which gave that other extra half second for the Red Raiders to catch up to that. They're down in about six. 
Again, North with a uh, only one wide receiver. Mahler drifting back, throwing the out pattern. It's uh, over the head of Cauldron, incomplete. <clears throat> and that's going to make it fourth down. Lee hobbled a little bit, not coming out of the game. Tough kid. We like him tough. Uh -oh. Off the side of the foot of Mahler, it was his worst effort of the night. He's actually been very good tonight at his punting, and he's gotten a lot of practice, unfortunately. Yep, that one just went 19 yards. Pulaski will have great field position at their own 46. But the way they've been running the ball, it uh, doesn't matter. Their long drive of the night was an 85-yard drive back in the second quarter, I think that was. No, first quarter. Pretty good gang tackling there by North. One of the uh, people on the stop was Ralsey. The second down, gain a two. Very Brockman diverse. trying to find room, can't. And again, North doing a good job of bottling up the runner. Getting off the bottom of the pile was uh, Elijah Wagner. It's a loss of a yard that time. Third down. And a little dipsy doodle, they flip it back to Groff. He's got the first down and it's tripped up at about the north 40, 41 yard line. Good gain, however. About a 12 yard run on that play. They're right back at the line of scrimmage. Hendricks uh, dancing around some traffic in the middle of the line and uh, bounces it out and then gets down at about the 35-yard line. Nice run by Hendricks. Fake handoff, Groff trying to lean forward for the first down, gets it to about the 31 or 32. See where they spot it. Ball is spotted on the 32 yard line. Be third down and one. Hendricks off tackle, avoids one tackler, avoids a second tackler, trying to cut it back, and he's down to about the 15-yard line. What a run. Yeah, just uh, strength. Good. There's Groff throwing the block, Chris. That's a quarterback. <laughs> you don't see Rodgers ever do that. <laughs> Cutler does that all the time. <laughs> First down and 10, ball spotted on the 16. Just strength there by Hendricks. Look at the pass. Throwing it, he's got a receiver, makes the catch, but he's down at the one yard line. One for one. <laughs> Brockman with the catch. Groff, good job of throwing on the run and a nice grab by Brockman. First completion of the night. Makes yeah, it first run all and night, goal. So nobody covered anybody. Yeah, really. There was quite a few open guys. We were open up here. Another touchdown by Hendricks. And uh, they're starting to open it up right now, Chris. 
two yard run. There you see it. Good blocking at the point of attack. Again, Groff throwing a nice block. What do you have, Hendricks, for the first half? How many yards? 80, 80 yards and eight carries. He's over 100. Yep. <laughs> the kick is up and good. That makes it 34 to nothing. We have not reached the threshold for a running clock situation. <clears throat> it's impressive, Chris. You're a good football team. Well, it's not. They just make it simple, Marty, though, though but they do run their Reverses and their counters and those pitch plays are pretty snazzy. Yeah, they uh, just enough to uh, keep the other team honest. And uh, one pass uh, in an age of throwing the football, we're not seeing either of these teams throw the football. No. We didn't see South throw it last week either. And it's the we'll, old... Uh, We'll see some passing when we go out to Lakeland College. Ah, uh, we will. It's just the way the play today is more wide and open and spread. And Kickoff is high, taken at about the 13. Big opening. That opening closed pretty quick, but uh, pretty nice return that time. Wolf Graham making the uh, return. Yeah, Bailey up over to 30. First and 10 for North at the 32. Mahler kept it. Mahler trying to take it right up the middle. Picked up a couple of yards. It's been tough. Pulaski's been pretty good. Give him about three yards on that play. Not too bad. Ball on the 34. Mahler handed it off to Love Beringer. He didn't get much, picked up maybe a yard. Third and long, need about seven. Isaiah Love Beringer doing the uh, bulk of the ball carrying tonight. Hasn't had a whole lot of room. Joey O'Brien, the new head coach for North this year. He's got his work cut out for him. They've uh, we got a flag on the play. A pretty good run that time. It looked like that was Cauldron on the carry. It was. We'll have to check out the penalty. Oh, a tackle. We got a tackle. Yeah, a little hold on the blue guy. <laughs> a little. <laughs> Can let the, could have let that go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man are you going to stop already wow <laughs> penalty on north they have not been penalized a great deal it is third down is that right third and 23 so they said that happened it's third six 19. yards back of the Line of scrimmage? I don't agree with that. Oh, boy. Mahler gets tackled back at about the 10-yard uh, line, or is that that's a 15-yard line? Second sack for... They just... Right. 
Loss of eight. Fourth down and a country mile. Mauer back in punting position again. Pulaski will get uh, get it in great field position. Ball is downed on the oh they it, it touched a Pulaski player. North picked it up and ran with it, and they're going to give it to North. I think. Nope. They are not. If they touch it on a punt, can't you pick it up and run yes, with it? Yes, you can. Even in high school. But they're saying Pulaski had it. Yeah, it's the signal. So I would like to see that one again. Yeah, really. Let's see that one again, guys. Oh, that's too uh, late. Too late. you got to have it earlier than that. Are they going to call a penalty? Are they going to, what's going on here? I thought these are, these are the kind of meetings you have after the game, not during the game. Where you talk about all the different things that happened and what we should have done, that kind of stuff. Why is everybody on a knee? Normally you do that if someone's hurt. What's going on? <laughs> and uh, everybody, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Both teams, cheerleaders, officials are not on a knee. We're not sure what this is uh, about. There's a injured player, Marty. Way, Way down. down. The one who ran with the ball. Okay. I All did right. not see Chris him. Chris Lenz walking him back. Is that Huffman? Yep. Uh, all players, well, not all players. Many players are now standing again. Pulaski's got most of their players on their knee yet. Huffman comes off. I don't off. know what the heck's going on, Marty. Yeah, me either. Jeez. Gonna make a punt again. Well, that explains the uh, delay was the injury to uh, Rob Huffman. Why Why is and the ball uh, at the 41? It's not. The They're ball march should be it down way even back further, over here. And I think we're going to punt it again. I want to know the replay back before we have holding, holding on Pulaski well but then why do you put it put all it the way back, back here they moved it out now that's it's not uh, right unless it's before the punt out to the 25 unless it was before the punt <clears throat> Marty it's the only thing I can 339 figure. left in the third quarter Pulaski up 34 to nothing Mahler back to punt again Hopefully this one won't uh, go off the side of his foot, and it doesn't. He clocked that one, picked up at the 30, and uh -oh. Alp has some room on the sideline, able to avoid a tackler and stays in bounds, and he's finally brought down near the 20-yard line. What a return by Preston Alp. <laughs> that man's a good player. Check my notes. I think he might have been an all-conference honorable mention or all-conference player last year. You can see why. But uh, great return. And uh, the Red Raiders have it on the 20-yard line. Direct snap. That one right to uh, Jeanette. Picks up positive yards. Pick up of about three.
Groff isn't even in the backfield. Leaning forward and uh, gaining positive yardage again was Jeanette. And Pulaski third. Huddle, huddling up, which is classy. I mean, they're not doing that hurry up anymore. Also another new guy back there, number 17, which we don't have. His name either. Right at the 10-yard uh, line goes uh, Lucas Gracie. On to 2-12 in the second half. That was Graciani. Believe it's first and goal from the 10 yard line. Yep, they've taken away the down markers, <coughs> Marty. Groff back in at quarterback. He takes the direct snap and runs it right up the middle. Down to about North the seven the and a fumble, and North says they've got it. And what do the officials say? No. They're calling second down. They're not going to give it to uh, North. Pick up a three yards, second down, seven, second and goal. Direct snap to Graciano. Ugh. He's close, gets he it down wanted to, to get one. in. <laughs> he tried awful hard. Third and goal from the one. He doesn't have a score yet, so he wanted to get that one in there. Yeah, pretty good stop by North to keep him out of the end zone. I think he's going to get the ball again. Yes, yep. he is. And he scores. Power football by the Red Raiders. And that puts us at the threshold of the running clock. You mentioned last week, uh, it will not stop, or it will stop for scores, but uh, other than that, just will continue to run. Switch sides at the quarter, which is in 54 seconds. The kick is good, makes it 41 to nothing. We will not be broadcasting any high school football games next week. We're taking the uh, Labor Day weekend off. And all the teams are on the road, I think. And that too. But I think uh, the plan was not to cover any games Labor Day weekend. Here you see a replay of that last touchdown. We will come back on Friday and the rest of the season, except for a couple Saturday games at Lakeland, the high school season We'll be broadcasting on Friday nights starting September 8th when uh, North travels down to the south side to play Sheboygan South in the annual, annual inner city game. The uh, next Friday, the uh, Badgers will be playing. Mr. Martin will be there. Oh, nice. Patrick got tickets for us. Utah State on a Friday night, which... I we know went a down lot of people don't like it being on a Friday because that's yeah, high well school that's night. high school football. You're right, and I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, we went down there for one of those preseason games that happened to be Georgia Southern. They wound up either winning or losing in the championship game of Division II. Uh, that was a very close game. The Badgers won, but uh, they weren't a fluke. They were a good football team. Hopefully we'll see a good game uh, well, next week. Coach Anderson, who coached the uh, Badgers a couple of weeks ago, clock should be running. But uh, that's just my two cents worth. Um, clock should be running. Um, Utah State, former uh, Coach Anderson, who now is at Oregon State, was a Utah State coach. 
Inside handoff to Love Beringer. Little or no gain. Fumble. Oh, come well, on. That'll be the quarter, though, Marty. I don't think Pulaski's going to run a play here. They've done been pretty classy over there. But uh, one thing that North has not done this quarter, Chris, is get the offense going a little bit. Pulaski has held the possession uh, time to a great degree. <clears throat> and you're right, that's the end of the uh, third quarter. Pulaski on top, 41 to nothing. Thirty tomorrow. All righty. All righty, we're ready to uh, start fourth quarter action. Direct snap. We got a new running back. That guy looks pretty quick, Chris. Whoa. Lloyd's one tackler, and he goes one play, 27 yards for the score. Logan Lom. Wow. He was quick. Look at him scoot to the out right there. Good avoiding. Job of avoiding the tackle, and then he cuts back. Got a little bit of help from his blocker and scores. Jeanette kicks that one through. 48 to nothing. Run, 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 run. All touchdown runs. Mr. Wright not happy next to me. Oh. Understandably so. I think they're uh, changing fields for Kohler Lutheran Christian this year. I think we're going to go out to Lakeland. Not sure about that, but uh, well, we have a couple they, uh, games put there. Put the new field in over turf field at Kohler. Hinkle Field out in Kohler. They're putting in turf at Jefferson Elementary on their playground. Really? Yeah. When they built the new school, they uh, planted grass and uh, had it going a little bit, but it never really took. And then the drainage was so terrible that, uh, you know, it just, it was a disaster. Kids couldn't go on there, yet they did. And got all muddy. And uh, anyway, they're putting in a turf on the playground. Ooh. It doesn't help to just stop. <laughs> you got to keep running. Yeah. Wolf Graham on the gets, carry. Yep. <laughs> First and ten. Not great field position for the Raiders. Ball is spotted on the 23. Mauer still uh, at quarterback, and Love Beringer still in the backfield. Lee Koo Lee gets uh, tripped up at the 25. Pardon me, that was Cauldron, number six on the carry. Picks up two. Mm 
Not much there for them. Nope. <coughs> they've tried, you know, they've run the ball up the middle, not with a lot of success, but they keep going back, trying to get to the outside. They're just uh, not able to get around the defenders. Pulaski's pretty quick. The second back through, good carry that time by uh, Cauldron. And yep, clock ball is, is at the. Go ahead, Chris. Just gonna say they got to keep the clock rolling. Ten twenty. First down. Cauldron with an eight-yard run. That's, uh, I believe, the longest play of the night for the Raiders. Picked a good time on second and two to get those eight yards. Another pitch out trying to get wide. That time they got around. Ooh, that's, that's a hit late. out of bounds. That should be a penalty. That's not out of <laughs> bounds. Boy, oh boy. Surprise. Let's see, see, that again. see where he is. Way out of bounds. Yeah. Two yards out of bounds. But yet. Uh, Three straight carries for uh, Cauldron, I think, made that last carry, or was yep. it okay? Seth Stark in the game, Cauldron taking a little bit of a breather. It's a pitch out going wide Herzog. to the left. Herzog picking up good yardage, gets the first down. Noah's a ni nice young man, very quick. Lives in my neighborhood. He's very good with uh, mus musician as well. Oh, good for him. Ball spotted on the 45. You can tell the uh, this defensive unit for Pulaski not as adept at covering the wide stuff. North being able to get the corner. Mahler on a fake pitch going back the other way that time. Uh, the defender did a good job of uh, holding his spot. Watch this fake pitch. Go back the other way. The That's defender there. That's a nice there. play. Yeah. But just uh, very well read by Wilson of Pulaski. Second and seven. Handoff off tackle. Herzog again. Herzog making uh, good yardage. And a first down. Good for him. Ball spotted at the uh, 43. <laughs> 7.30 left in the ball game. Another handoff. Herzog fumbled the ball, but North uh, on top of it. He's second loss of two on the play. Pitch out, Herzog uh, strung it out pretty nice. Not, no gain on that. Started about 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage, Marty. That's uh, Look at how deep he is. He's at about the 48. The ball was started at the, what? Nice block. Eight yards behind the line of scrimmage before he catches the ball. Then you got to get to the line of scrimmage and gain some yards before the uh, white shirts figure it out. And the Matthew back. Bayona, number 71, made that good block inside. It's a foot race. Cauldron avoids one tackler and then is spun down. He does gain some yardage. 
It's going to be fourth down. Give him three on the carry. There you see the north huddle. Mahler trotting in, giving them the play. I love Beringer back in the game in the uh, backfield. Mahler straight back, going deep. He's got uh, Matt Mitchell out there, but uh, just threw it too deep out of his reach. Throws a nice ball. A lot of contact down the field. Kozlowski there grabbing and poking at his jersey, but... Uh, to no avail. First down, Pulaski at the 43-yard line. 4.30 left in the game. We'll run right up the middle. Good yardage there. That second team line is uh, doing a great job of pushing in a good way. Jaden Lemke on the carry. Going to be second down and about two. Another new runner. Yeah, that's Lemke. He got around the corner. He's on his way. And did they? Are they going to give it to him? Or do? Yes, yes, they are. Forty-nine yards for another <laughs> different running back. Now Lemke had eight yards on the carry before that, and now he had 49, so he's got two carries for 57 yards. Jeez. That's getting away from him big time. Extra point is good again. And that uh, ups the ante to 55 to nothing. Clock has to stop. 347. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight touchdown runs. I should count up the number of yards they gained just on touchdown runs. That's about 150. Well, he just got 49 right there, Marty. Yeah, I have a 23-3, and now 49. I got 123, I think, on just touchdown runs. It's tough on the kids, too, Chris. Yep. I thought in the first half I saw some pretty good things. I mean, granted, they were only down 20 to nothing. They were playing better. Pick it up and go. That's it. Use your blockers a little bit. That's it, Cauldron. Nice effort that time by Dillon. First and 10 for the Raiders. Clock running, 325 left. Ball spotted on about the 32. Can they run out the clock, keep the ball away from the Red Raiders? Inside handoff. Herzog on the carry. Down by Eli 
second down. North goes to uh, Notre Dame next week. Uh, uh, and uh, Pulaski hosts Sheboygan South. Uh, Notre Dame, they're pretty good. Love Beringer on the carry, but didn't get much. I think it's going to be uh, fourth down, third down. Notre Dame, we saw their speed. Third down and a long one. Two down territory here. Uh, they're going to go for it. You're right. There's a first Power down. Go, Matthew. Drag down inside the uh, 45. Good pick up there. 150 left. Good run by Mitchell. First and 10. Look at Mitchell. Good saving tackle there. By Brockman. Brockman with those good wheels. Minute and a half. Herzog coming back, dragging players. He trying to get to the 35, and I think he just may have gotten there. Jonathan Bauman, good blocking, number 70. Block in there also by Wire. Timeout North. They want to preserve some time, see if they can get a score. It would be their first score of the season, Chris. What do you think of this timeout? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, man. Be positive. I am trying to be positive. <laughs> trying to figure out the right way to do this. You wouldn't want Pulaski to call timeout, but I guess oh, if you're trying no. to score. No, 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 no. But I mean, you're trying to build on something. Yep, I you agree know, if you, you get a score, I mean, at yep. least you scored this season. Yep. Herzog's running the ball well. Gotten a lot of lot of attempts here in the fourth quarter. All right, ready to go. Second down and about three. Inside handoff. Bearing or love bearing her. Gets uh, stacked up short of the first down. Have to hurry, boys. You see it right up the middle. Third and two. We're under a minute. Pitch out to Herzog. Cuts it back. He's got the first down. Well, he called timeout before. He's going to call timeout again. Timeout north with 31 seconds left. That's their second. Ball is spotted on the 30-yard line. Pick up a five that time by Herzog. Well, let's see if Mitchell can get open and Mitchell can throw Mitchell the ball. That would be Mitch Mauer to uh, <laughs> Demarja Mitchell. DM, the wide receiver, is 6'5". He's a big guy. Good target out there. Elijah Wagner also in there in the backfield. Thirty-one seconds left. D Mitchell, Mitchell, wide receiver on the right. It's going to him. Nope. They pitch out. Herzog trying to get the corner. Don't be afraid to get out of bounds. Doesn't no matter. 
And he's knocked down at about the 20. Doesn't matter if he gets out of bounds, clock's gonna run. Oh, you're North's right. gonna lose their, Good lose, point. use their last timeout. As long as we have a bit of a break, I know we've mentioned this a couple of times, but we'll run it by you once more. No TV game next week. We will be uh, broadcasting the North-South game from South High on Friday, September 8th. We look forward to doing that game for you. We run consecutive Fridays up until uh, Friday, October 6th. We have Manitowoc at South. And then on Saturday the 7th, Chris, you're going to have to go home early after that Friday night game. We're at uh, Lakeland. They host Adrian College and then also the following week October 14th will be out there when they play Benedictine University well last right. play of the game Marty yeah, 19 seconds left Maurer dropping back looking deep he's got Mitchell out there leaps and tries to make the catch incomplete clock's got to be rolling <laughs> It's a home game, and they can stop the clock if they want. <laughs> now they turn the clock back on. They could get one oh more my. play off. But they're not going to. Uh, clock ran off before the ball was snapped, and that's the ball game. Pulaski giving a great effort, really showing their running attack. Wins tonight against Sheboygan North, 55 to nothing. I want to thank the crew for their great job and for my partner, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.